Okay, so we got another battle report today, and uh, if you can notice, it's we're in my sister's room right now because I'm in the process of moving, so my room is full of stuff and we don't have space there. So we're just playing here. It's 35 points, and the scenario is ceaseless conflict. So what that means is there's a thin red line in the middle of the uh, table. I'm not sure if you can see it. But uh, what we have to do is have one of our models or the whole unit over the line, and if they survive the and other players next turn, then you win the game. Another special rule, so if your warjack or unit dies, they come back on at the start of your next turn. So they'll come back on the table as a new unit, but all war, but um, jack marshals will not keep their same war jacks, but they can still like go and collect them again. So it's me versus Evan with my Signar versus his Kador. So he ran the roll off, but he made me deploy first. So I'll just go over my list. I'm running Epic Healy uh, with a Bonded Lancer, a Defender, and a Charger, a Unit of the Gun Mages with the Unit Attachment, the Black Thirteenth, a Journeyman Warcaster, and he's got a Hunter with him. Um, that's my 35 point list, and I'll give it over to Evan. Okay. So, for my list, I have. So, Sosha here. Uh, she's gonna. This is the prime. She's gonna be the epic, though. Um, I have two destroyers, and this is going to also be a destroyer. Very scary. And then I have Reinhold and the four mechanics. Here I have the Winter Guard Rifle Corps with the. Um, Rocketeer unit attachment. And over here I have the Manhunter. Okay, so this will be a 35 point game, and we'll be back with Kator turn, or Signar turn one. This was a really good turn for me, but it, uh, it's kind of complicated, so I'll, here's what happened. Um, first, I moved the Black 13th up and killed the Manhunter. Yeah. And then the hunter moved up, took a shot at the destroyer that was the rightmost, and did nine points of damage or something like that. Yep. About. Then the lancer ran up there and just stayed. I moved up. The defender took a shot at the um, leftmost destroyer and did a couple points of damage. And then I took a shot, two shots with the charger, and did a fair bit of damage to the same one. And the journeyman moved up. Um, I should probably mention, but I gave um, one focus to him, one focus, uh, three focus, one. So that left Haley with three. And then what happened? was the uh, gun mages walked up, shot three or four of the winter guard. Took out three of the winter guards. They are just chilling over here. Same with the mechanics, manhunter, and Reinhold. Okay, so then Haley moved up and arced uh, what was domination. domination through the lancer onto the middle destroyer. And so I walked him over there shot his uh, cannon at a mechanic that was right here, scattered, or missed, and scattered backwards. But since it was so close, it only scattered a little bit to another mechanic that was right beside it. Killed three mechanics and Reinhold. And that's it. And when I tried to damage Sorsha, I rolled the uh, snake eyes. So that kind of sucked. And then finally, before I ended, I popped Haley's feet. So that should be interesting. And... That's about it. Um, we'll Want to tell them what the feat is? Oh, so I get to... So, all models and enemy models in Haley's control area have to either sacrifice their movement or action or movement, and then they I get to choose which order they activate in. So that's all the stuff over there and none of the winter guard. So, yeah. 
that is it. We'll be back with Kador Turn 2. Okay, so this is Kador Turn 2. I got... He pwned me with his feet, just gonna say that now. Okay, so... Manhunter and Reinhold got deployed 6 inches. Um, cause, say, that's what happens when you die. Um... Okay. So, I gave two focus to this destroyer and that destroyer, and one to that one. And so, one stayed on Sorsha, so... Um... It, this destroyer sacrificed its movement and shot at the charger. Uh, did a bit of damage. I shot at that lancer because I sacrificed the movement. Um, and I ended up uh, missing, scattering, going back, and hitting me directly. But I still, I did no damage to me or him. Then uh, he made so he made me activate Sorsha next. So, I mean the mechanic next. So I moved him up. I mean I didn't even move him up. I uh, sacrificed his movement and he repaired th this destroyer. For three. Three. I know that. Uh, and then the Sorsha sacrificed her movement and shot her quad iron. And um, she has an, an ability for it where. If you hit the first one, you can get an extra attack. So I hit. I don't think I did any damage, but um, so but I still hit. So I got to roll. Oh again wait, no, you hit. did do some damage. Oh, I did do some. Then I rolled again to hit, and um, well, I missed. So I so Reinhold went up, went in base to base, and um, used reload. So. Um, yeah, she hit, boosted to attack, and then, um, missed the next one, of course. And then I just charged my winter guards up to the gun mages, took Two. out one gun mage, and, with this guy, he be here, and so, and then I ran the manhunter up to here. And yes, that was my turn. Okay, so we'll hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to end it this turn. But um, the scenario does start happening now, so yeah, we'll be back with Signar so, turn. Signar turn three, and I have officially won the game. So this one wasn't very long, but I'll run through what happened. So the Lancer. Walked back out a bit, just so that he wouldn't be in combat. Um, but he wasn't anyway. And then he tried to hit the um, destroyer, didn't do very much. Um, Haley moved up. Art time bomb through the lancer on Distortia. It missed, scattered over here into the middle of the group. And then it um, hit the mechanic, destroyer, Reinhold, and Sorsha. Then the hunter moved up, shot at this destroyer, did a couple points of damage, and then the charger moved up, shot once, did nine points of damage, and at then shot at Sorsha, sorry. And uh, then he shot again and did ten points, killing her. So that's the game. Uh, if I could have done anything differently, I think maybe just uh, maybe saved the feet another turn. I think it would have been better just to hold it back a bit. And, uh, yeah. So, any and thoughts? I probably should have changed my strategy. Tried to, uh... Well, guys are really slow, but... Um, also... It was more, uh, Haley's feet that, like, screwed me up. Because I had to sacrifice my action and my movement. If I sacrificed my action, then I would have just got pwned the next turn, so, yeah. She sucks. Don't ever play her unless you're really good at saying that. Okay, then. That was specific. But anyway, here's the Alright, so, 
Um, it's actually the second time we tried to film this because um, the first Not time, same scenario, yeah, right? the first time was just caster kill, but we couldn't. Um, we kept getting interrupted and we had to pack up, so we didn't bother posting it. And uh, yeah, so we'll be back with more, probably maybe another one this week. Yeah. Okay, so we kind of screwed up in uh, the way that we did this. Uh, we did both our turns without taking this video. So we're just going to do both in the same video. Nothing too much happened, so we're just going to go on. Okay, so what happened was um, first the hunter walked up and uh, just was right about here. And then the journeyman moved up, cast arcane shield on him. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And he ended. Then, over here, I ran the Lancer up, not his full distance. Um, and then also the Charger and the Defender ran up. Then the Black 13th ran up. There was a guy right here. Or the Gunmage, sorry. Not the Black 13th, the Gunmage. Yeah, uh, he died, and same with the guy. It was right here. Yeah. So then the Black 13th ran up and stood there. Then I walked Haley up and she cast uh, Deacceleration and uh, what was it? Oh, Teleportation on the Hunter and that's why he's a little farther ahead. Otherwise, no. And yeah, that was my turn. So, I'll show you Kador's turn. Also, if you want to tell them what uh, that one spell did. Oh. Uh, Sure. Hit these guys. Okay, so first I okay, well I allocated two focus to each destroyer. This one is bonded to Sorsha because she has the war jack bar. Um so he it moved up first and took a shot at the um Thunder. defender. Hit uh, missed. Mi yeah, missed, scattered, and I hit the uh, charger, charger and did two points of damage. Two to the two. Mm -hmm. And then this one moved up, shot, shot, didn't reach, but scattered, scattered and killed the one, one of the black thirteenth. Then I moved up this destroyer, third destroyer. And I'm pretty sure it was in range. No, no, no. Yeah, it was in range, but then you missed. Yeah, I missed. And scattered and it over scattered here. scattered this way. Then I, um... Moved the Manhunter up. No, no, no. Then I moved up Sorsha. She did nothing. Then I moved Reinhold up. And I tried to use the Spyglass, but, um, I couldn't see the gun mages over there. So, yeah. And so I moved up the Winter Guard Ref Corpse with the Rock Tier. And they all shot at the guy that was here. They killed him and then shot at him and missed. I needed double sixes on two dice, so yeah. And then the Rock Tier shot at him, scattered. Uh, I did and, nothing. And yeah, I did nothing. And then I ran Manhunter to the other side of the line and well yeah if he stays there for another turn then I win no it only starts at your second turn oh my second sorry if he stays there for two turns alright well two of my turns yeah we'll be back with our Signar turn two in a second and that's it.